Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial on aryl oxides. So when we take a look at the aryl oxides in this video, we're going to be looking at the biological impact of them. So if you say swallowed some benzene, your body would use something called cytochrome P450 and oxygen to turn it into an aryl oxide, which looks like this. So once in your system, the aryl oxide has two possible paths. One of them is a substitution pathway, and the other one is a rearrangement pathway. So now, for the substitution pathway, this is a carcinogenic pathway because what could happen is DNA could find the aryl oxide and nucleophilically attack it, meaning that this aryl oxide would become attached to your DNA. And obviously, anything that's foreign attaching to your DNA is not a good thing. Alternatively, it could go through the rearrangement pathway, where you're going to form an aromatic alcohol, which typically your body is able to get rid of. So this would be considered the non-carcinogenic pathway. The way you decide which pathway is going to be taken is based on which one happens fastest. And for the rearrangement pathway, the rate determining step is the formation of a carbocation. So let's take a look at the mechanism for that rearrangement. Okay, so let's take a look at the mechanism. So over here we have our aryl oxide and some unspecified acid. So the oxygen with its lone pairs will attack the hydrogen, breaking the bond with the other portion of this base. No, kicking off the base. I want to say base. Okay, so let's take a look at the mechanism. So over here we have our aryl oxide and some unspecified acid. So the oxygen using its lone pairs will attack the hydrogen, breaking this bond. So over here we're going to form our protonated aryl oxide. So now oxygen has a positive charge on it and it's in a three-membered ring. So oxygen's not very happy. So one of these bonds needs to break in order to alleviate the positive charge and the ring strain that's being felt. So one of these bonds will break and we will form this compound right here. So now what's called the NIH shift will happen. Now NIH doesn't necessarily help you understand what happened. Um, it's called the National Institute of Health shift because they're the ones who discovered it. Sometimes I think next is hydrogen to help me remember what the next step will be. So over here, the next thing is hydrogen will shift over to this carbocation and the oxygen will drop a pair of electrons down to form a double bond. So over here we have this double bonded OH and we still have those two bonds untouched. Now remember, the goal is to create an aromatic alcohol. So that means we need a double bond to happen right over here. So the base that was previously kicked off will come and take a hydrogen, dropping those electrons there to form a double, which then will cause this double bond to break, giving oxygen its electrons back. So out here we get our phenol or our aromatic alcohol. 